right now, and that's another thing about this gift God gave me. It bothered me sometimes because I see things so clear. Yeah. Like it's like a movie in my head. So I just seen him just when I looked over there and it just gave sugar. But yeah, it's crazy like that. When I seen him get killed like that, I knew that we under attack. Yeah, I knew it. Man, I, I kicked him in the face and everything. Yeah, Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I wanna ask you about uh, Nipsey, man. Did you have some? I wanna ask you about Nipsey Hussle, man. Uh, That's my he tweeted brother. about you. That's my brother, bro. I mean, like, like, how big was that? Like, and then I know you did the prayer, you know, when he passed away. When you rap like Nipsey do, you tell your story. But just that tweet and just the way y'all intermingle, what was that? How was that? What is Mind that? Mind blown. Mind blowing. Give me some me big details. Nipsey, I'm gonna tell you how what make it even more crazy. I wouldn't know Nipsey if it wasn't for Mug. Really? Yeah, they went to elementary together. Mug stayed on Slauson, you know, Mug and, and Nip went to elementary school together. Okay. I didn't even know that. Yeah, you know, uh Mug Daddy was in the service, so when he based the base they, yeah, they was they linked up. Yeah, he was out there. So when when Nip was coming up, we was coming up together. You know, so we end up getting real, real, real close. And when, when I seen that, like right now, and that's another thing about this gift God gave me, it bothered me sometimes because I see things so clear. Yeah. Like it's like a movie in my head. So I just seen him just when I looked over there and it just gave sugar. But yeah, it's crazy like that. When I seen him get killed like that, I knew that we under attack. Yeah, I knew it. Man, I, I kicked him in the face and everything. Yeah, after he get shot, you know, that that was crazy, man. I took my wife over there, not after he passed away, not when they were putting all that stuff in the parking lot. We went over there before that. We would go frequent that shop because we have a shop. This shop been here for a long time. Mm -hmm. So him being a person who owned a business and on that see, block, yeah. I want to see my kids working here. So I wouldn't seen his family, his daddy working there, Black Sam in there. I go over there. Mm. My brother, one made me go. He's like, man, Nipsey doing some stuff over there like you, you know? I'm like, yeah, I see the little nigga. I met him in Vegas, me and him talk. Mm -hmm. And I was, you know, I talked that talk. I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm just who I am, bro. I was like, nigga, you ain't been working. You know what I'm saying? On the music, mm -hmm. I was messing with him. He was like, you gonna see, you gonna see. He was out trying to get the marathon ready. Then it was like 2010. 2010. Yeah, he stayed on my ass. He was working on that. On, and then showed me, though. He brought, because when I went over to his shop, I was so impressed with the way he mm -hmm. laid it out. It was beautiful in there, oh, man. You got a hell of a business. I still got the pictures on the on my phone that, like, I never took them off. Like, when I was going, when he was first setting up. And he got a hell of a business, man. I remember when he told me, man, he was like, man, I can't wait to get 5000 to show. Really? Mm -hmm. We had just performed at House of Blues. And we went to uh, IHOP. And he asked me how much I was getting at that time of show. I was like, five racks. He said, that's all I don't make now. He said, it's over. <laughs> Say, well, like, and he, he blew past that. I think mean, father was getting 60, 70 for Exactly. Wow. But I'm saying he. But at that time, that's how. That's how I don't make now. And y'all had some hell of a conversation then if y'all were talking about that. He was just. Oh, uh, yeah, man. That man, he used to stay on my ass. Last thing I remember him telling me over the phone, he was like, man, this is us. It's all for us. He, he was saying, like, I'm here now. I'm what we want to be. And he was like, man, they lying to us. This is all for us. This is our shit. I mean, that's what he was telling me. Wow. He was but I'm know. knowing what he was saying from our conversation, just knowing, you know, I'm knowing he was saying what he thought, what I think. How, how it's gonna be and how it look up there. Like, we gonna be out of place. Yeah. He was letting me know now. Nah, we the ones supposed to be here. That's you know hard, I mean? man. That's hard. And, and for you and him to, for you and him to have a relationship where he felt that comfortable to pick up that phone and call you and talk to you about different things. Yeah. Really about re insight is yeah, really what you what, what you said. It's insight. That's how we talked about. That's hard, man. Well, we shared, shared that knowledge with each other. That's how we talked about it. We talked. He was telling me about uh, when he started eating right now. Little oh, shit. yeah, with Dr. Savi. Yeah, he told me when he quit sipping, sir, he was so happy. <laughs> yeah. What would you say is your biggest accomplishment to date? 
my kids. Yes, How many you have? Three. Three. Well, I got four. My daughter in heaven. Oh, you know, bless her soul. Yeah. How old was she when she passed? When she came into the world. Oh, okay, complications. Yeah. Mm. Feel like she was here forever though. Just wow. Seeing, like she was, you know. You see, that's why I tell people all the time when I talk about, and this is something I came up with myself during COVID, but I tell people um, when you're born in this in this world, you're born at a job, right? And you got to do God's bid. And whenever you're done, he'll take you away. That's how I look on death. Mm. So that has no age. So when a baby, people say, how can you say that? Because a baby who have never been born, still birth, come out from a mom, how have they done anything? You I don't said, know job. you don't know the job. That's they real. probably could have touched, the mama life could have changed, the daddy life could have changed, the nurse's life could have changed, friends who've seen that mama carry that baby change her life. You know what all I mean? All that through that one child. All of that through that one child. And I've always said that, you know, because people always come back. Anytime you're talking about God and trying to inspire people, mm -hmm. they come back. So what about this? What about that? Because people are so uh, engulfed in their rage and hatred because, oh, of, yeah. because of something that they asked God for and he didn't deliver it. So I all, remember being mad at God a lot too in my life until I realized, you know, um, I just I, I know I know God real. I, I'm talking about when I say that I don't say that lightly. Like uh, I I think I was one of the people who had to be proved to. You know I don't think I'd still be strong with God like I am now if I didn't know. You know, mm -hmm. but I don't even believe no more. I don't even have to. Like, I know. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like, I don't even have Man. no reason. You know, I have no reason believing. You know, I know for a fact. Man, um, oh, serious. man, yes. God is just so real, man. Like, I know because I'm still here. Mm. And there's so many people, the people we've been naming, uh, that, that, that's gone. But you know already you left it for a legacy to try, you know, especially with your kids. That's a big deal right there. Because your kids see a reflection. Of, you see your kids in you, and they see you in themselves. Mm -hmm. They don't realize it's subconsciously happening. They don't even think about it. It happens seamlessly. You see what I'm saying? So that's the part right there where I be trying to tap into to give me the strength I need to keep going. Yeah, me too. You know what I'm saying? That part right there make me push all the other problems I caught so-called have out the way. I don't yeah. even think about me no more when I look at my 15-year-old son, when I think about my 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 30-year-old son, when I think about my daughter that said brown. Like those are the things that make me keep going is tapping into that place where it ain't about me no more. Yeah, I, and for me to still be here? Yeah, I've been at that place, but it ain't about me at all. Man. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it feel, sometimes it can feel selfish to yourself, you know. Yeah. But it is what it is, man. That's my reality. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. Yeah, we gonna talk.